All right, I'm back with Roxanne Smith, and our adoptable pet of today is a, a cute little puppy, and he's he's putting on a, a very great show right now. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the camera came on him, he's like, okay, I'm going to be chill. So, what's his story? Or her? Is it a her? It is. I'm going to let her. Let her. Okay, there yeah. you go. You're doing good. She's a sweetheart. Little her puppy. Name is Sienna. Oh, all she right, is Sienna. So excited. She's teething. She's mm -hmm. she's so sweet. She's so gentle, and she's having the best time because she's out of the cage. And yeah. she came in as a stray to the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter, and she's only about 10 weeks old. So she needs to stay there for a couple more weeks. And it's not just the age. Um, it's also the vaccinations. That they're getting so I was talking with one of the workers there today and they mentioned you know they like to keep the puppies for at least two weeks because then they can give them their deworming and their vaccination so that when they leave they'll be fully vaccinated and they won't come back sick if they're brought back or they won't mm -hmm. get any other animals sick yeah that makes sense so this baby is just an example of one of the many puppies uh, that are at the Washtenaw Parish Animal mm -hmm. Shelter of course we have kittens as well no livestock at this time I did ask and and um, if you are interested, it is $80 cash um, <laughs> for, for dogs, uh, for cats, $70 for dogs. That's going to include your deworming, a voucher to get them spayed and neutered. And remember, you can't pick them up until they've been spayed and neutered. So, um, you, you know, any dog that's spayed and neutered at the shelter already is a great choice for you. Mm -hmm. This baby, of course, is too young to have been fixed yet, but you will get a voucher that'll go towards that. And again, the deworming and the vaccinations will be taken care of. So it's a great deal. Mm -hmm. The shelter is currently full, the past capacity full. And so every time a puppy comes in, that's taking the place of another animal that, that needs the room. And another thing to remember is that the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter is only taking animals from Washita Parish, not from surrounding parishes any longer. So if you're in a surrounding parish, check into rescue shelters in your area and uh, contact your local uh, governmental officials and see what you can do in your parish to help domesticated animals that don't have homes. Okay, any other announcements? We've got about a minute left. Sure, well, as usual, we are looking for fosters, mm -hmm. and it's not just the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter or Paws of Northeast Louisiana that's looking for them. Um, any rescue, uh, Humane Society in Monroe, River City Society for Cats, um, any rescue or shelter that you work with, we are definitely looking for fosters. It is a bridge from taking them out of the shelter and into a permanent home, which is outside of this area. So it's really important that we get them out of the shelter, get them medically cleared so that they can travel. And that is something that everybody can do to help. Great. I'm seeing it's going to be a beautiful dog, and she is looking for a forever home and you can find her at the Washtenaw Parish Animal Shelter.